hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is leslie please don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell notification button to be notified every time i upload right now i am uploading on tuesdays i really want to try to do tuesdays and fridays i am gonna try my hardest can't promise anything life's a little bit busy right now but anyways so in today's video we are going to be doing sublimation on this dollar tree blanket this is the fleece baby blanket this blanket is the brand is angel of mine and the blanket is 30 by 30 inches it is 100 percent polyester so it already has you know a design and things like that so we're gonna try um supplementing some black because i think black will show the best but we're also going to try to put in some color on it to kind of see you know how, if the colors are dull or if they don't show up at all so we're going to test that so right now we're going to start designing the blanket and then we're gonna do it okay so let's get to designing Okay, so now we're gonna take take the blanket. Make sure it's on the right side. And we're just gonna start laying out how we want everything. Okay, so I know I want, can't fit it all on here, but I know I want her name in the middle. So, somewhere like right there be her name. And then we can just randomly place the words throughout the blanket so I'll leave those two for down there and then we can just randomly place the mini mouses there's still more blankets so I want to make sure I leave I want this one to be by sassy I want to make sure that I leave you know for the bottom okay so we'll tape these first so I'm gonna take my tape dispenser and I'm gonna flip it Your paper down. I'm 
I'm gonna put a little bit more. And I wanna cover it. The whole thing. Okay, so then we're gonna grab. Okay. Anyways. Okay, so we're gonna take. Okay, hopefully no pieces come off. We're gonna do some of them. Let's see. So we're gonna do this side first. And do this side first and then we're going to put and just the paper on top I'm like I don't want this one to be done okay let's we'll see how this works out okay so I'm doing some butcher paper um, I think I'm going to take this off so it doesn't do it Okay, so I'm gonna press it down for 60 seconds. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but I have it at 385. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try. Okay, so I think less than 60 seconds is fine. Take it out, yes. I'm gonna do it really fast. Ooh, you can see it. That's exciting. Okay, so now we're gonna move it. Uh, pick it up. And the reason why you want butcher paper underneath is because the sublimation ink can go, actually go through. So we're gonna do these three and then we'll do the rest. I'm actually just going to fold this and then we'll reuse it. Okay. And um, probably could have pressed it for longer and you would have gotten more. You can kind of see there's still some on there. I didn't use up all of it. Like this. Oh, wait. I didn't do this one yet. Oh. I forgot to do this one. So it was supposed to be here. Okay. Guys, didn't remind me. You guys are fired. Okay. So let's see. This one has a, a bit of ghosting. Um. I think all of these do because of when I took it off to put the Minnie Mouse. When I lifted it up to put the Minnie Mouse. So those kind of have some ghosting. So now we're going to flip it. And, uh, I think we can do this. Okay, so we're going to do... miss like one of these so okay so I'm gonna get a new piece of butcher paper so that so I don't dirty my heat press let's push this a little bit back 
Man, so these would have not gotten ghosting if I would have not opened it up to put that Minnie Mouse I forgot. So that's completely my fault. And you could just use your easy press if it's easier. That way you put it in one spot and you just move it around. If you have an even bigger blanket, I think the easy press would probably be the best way to go. Okay, so we only have one more to do. This okay, one more. So I'm just going to fold this over. So this is how the blanket looks. So if you know anything about sublimation, you know that you should lint roll everything or else you get these little blue dots from where the lint is. Um, so there's that, but I really didn't really care because I just wanted to see if you could sublimate on it. So it looks really good. Like you can actually see the colors really well. Mm, the name looks really good. That one's a little more blurred than this lighter pink. You can't see as much. Um, but the red. And then this side, obviously, this was from when I opened the press to put this one on. So that's why um, there's ghosting on the beautiful, this Minnie Mouse, and the loved. But it actually looks really, really good. So now you know you can supplement on Dollar Tree. Blank. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really impressed at how well the colors are coming through. I knew that the black would show up well. But the fact that these colorful ones are really vibrant. The only one that didn't show up as well is the lighter pink. I mean you can still see it. It's just not as vibrant as the other ones as the red ones but I, I'm, I like how it turned out I do so now you guys know you can supplement on Dollar Tree blankets you can pretty much um, do supplementation on any fleece blanket so I'm really happy with how it turned out thank you guys for watching this video thank you for subscribing we are past 300 subscribers and once we get to 500 subscribers I will do a giveaway so please subscribe if you have not already. Please get your mama, your auntie, your everybody you know to subscribe. And guys, please let me know down below what kinds of videos you guys want to see. I do read all your comments and I try to respond to all of you guys. So yes. So yeah, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, hit the notification bell notification button. So you'll be notified every time I upload. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.